I mentioned that we had been talking about you in recent months because of Chris and Cavallari. Obviously, you guys were like hyping it up on social media. I feel like I feel like Kristen <sighs> got back into the she knows how to make people talk about her, you know, has been in the reality TV game for a long time. She posted that picture of you two, went on Instagram Live, said you were the best kisser. Um, <laughs> people were like, oh, we need Steven and, and Kristen back together. What were your thoughts on that whole thing? <laughs> um, yeah, it was, um, I, I think that, that the picture caught me off guard uh, as far as the, the response. Uh, I had to turn my, my cell phone off there for the day. It was, it was overwhelming. It was, it was, um, yeah, it was it was weird because it was just like you know you you, you already feel uh, uncomfortable about uh, random numbers calling your private numbers. You're like you know you look at it and you're like who is this? And when it's happening kind of nonstop all day, and then like random people coming out of the woodwork texting me like, hey man, how are you? What's up? Yeah. You <laughs> dating anybody? Like honestly, doing it thinking that I'm not you know getting what they're saying. You know like and I'm like oh really cool. All right, anything like do you have anything serious going on dating wise? And I'm just like is this person just think I'm an idiot? I'm like who is this? <laughs> you know. So a uh, lot of un- uncomfort in, in that area. But um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, Kristen's doing her thing. It was good to see her. We have a good friendship after all these years. So it's nice. That's yeah. good to hear. Mm-hmm. It definitely, it definitely is because it ties back to, you know, you can watch all these shows forever. And so people yeah. still tie you guys, tie you guys together. It was so long ago. It's just like, but that's that's I the told connection. her she owes me another dinner. I was like, you actually, or she owes me dinner. Right? I, I bought uh, dinner yeah. when we hung up. But I was like, <laughs> after that, uh, I, I lost a day of work because of you. I turned my <laughs> phone off, so you owe me dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and is very, post very another fair. picture of you guys at dinner, and then the cycle will start yeah. again. <laughs> It just is never ending, never ending. But it was definitely gave us, you know, some good quarantine entertainment. You know, we were just like, like you Sorry, said. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> what we do. Okay. <laughs> um, James, you are, you work on this show with your now fiance. And I think that's really, really cool. She seems fantastic. How did you guys meet? Like, cause I know, I think it was from on the Royals, right? The set of the Royals. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we met while I was directing on the Royals. She was obviously uh, starring and um, I directed successive um, episodes or sorry, episodes of that show in successive seasons after that. And we just, yeah, we got really close and that's how we started our, our relationship. And then she was just um, totally, you know, a natural fit for everyone is doing great because she really helped us pull it together. I mean, it was her that was in my ear going, why don't you write something that we can just shoot together, you know, like that we can just shoot on our own with our own money. And, you know, that way we don't have to keep going down this road of like, you know, writing scripts and pitching and just getting rejected at the door. Like we could just make something. And um, so, yeah, so she was an integral part of the process from the beginning. And then to go on and shoot, you know, continue shooting the season and, and build her character more and more through each episodes uh, each of the episodes was just, um, it was just awesome. You know, it was, it was really great that I already had the experience of working with her, um, you know, because that, that made things very easy on set. I think it could have been kind of nerve wracking to work with your fiance for the very first time ever while, you know, everybody's pulling together an indie production. Um, but we, you know, thankfully, just like the rest of us um, in, in this whole process, we'd had a lot of experience working together already. Yeah, that's awesome to hear because I feel like there's sometimes like a negative connotation working with your significant other. I work with my boyfriend in the same place and everyone always asks us like, oh, that must be miserable. I'm like, no, it's really it's really not. So when (laughs) when you can make it work, it's always a great thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think, yeah, I mean. Times are changing, I guess. You know what I mean? I, I could see how maybe yeah. like from, a, from a, like the days of yore that might have been stigmatized or something. But mm-hmm. nowadays, um, you know, everybody, you know, we all just have so much to bring to the table that it's um, it's I, I just don't see why why you wouldn't do it. Um, you know, unless you really had different creative sensibilities, then I would say maybe it's not a good idea. Um, yeah. But, you know, when you share creative sensibilities with the people that are close to you, Um, it's, it can be the most wonderful experience to actually create together. 